even though it's hot. It's kind of hot. Oh, it's hot. It's and hot. you know what I love to eat when it's hot? Ice cream. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Problem is, you eat a whole bunch of ice cream, well, you get. And we need Eric Schreiber more. D exactly. Okay, you have gotcha. to do a whole bunch more exercises. So, um, you know, a lot of people like uh, to, uh, I guess, slim down versions of right. kind of ice cream. Well, what I wanted to make today is something called smoothie bowls. Okay. And if you're on social media, TikTok, things like that, you probably see them. They're a big thing right now. Basically, it's taking a smoothie um, and making it a little thicker and putting it in a bowl, kind of like ice cream, right? Okay, right, Okay, right, so yeah. the first one, we're going to do a real easy one. It's called, uh, it's actually called my go-to smoothie bowl. It takes five minutes, three ingredients, and it's delicious. Now, think about this one. If you ever have the, have you had a asahi bowl? Yes. Yes, it's basically that. Okay. Yeah. All right. So what you're going to need is um, it calls for a cup of frozen berries, but I have actually found these Asahi Super Packs, which is basically the Asahi that you use um, to make Asahi bowls. So right. I thought that okay. would be good. You asked me if I needed scissors before and I said no. So that we were going to put that in there. So you would put, so if you're using berries, you would put a cup of frozen berries in there. Okay. Get it all in there. And then we add to that, I have a frozen banana. So what I did is basically I sliced it all up before I froze it and I froze put, it. Froze it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Gotcha. So put that in there. That's actually, I actually have two bananas in there just to make sure I have enough. He's looking for something for me to wipe my hands on. That you think that's that. what you do. And then um, a little bit, two to three tablespoons of coconut milk, or if you like almond milk, mm -hmm. that's fine too. Plant-based milk, you can use regular milk if you like. So here's the thing, um, you need to be careful. You don't want the same consistency as a smoothie because you want it to be a little harder. A little more texture to texture it. Texture to okay. it. So before I put that in, I'm gonna go ahead and chop this up low and slow. Oops, that's false. See, my little banana is just kind of <laughs> moving around in Moving there. Moves. And then I'm going to slowly add just a little bit of my coconut milk. Now, you can see nothing's really happening. Right. So I'm going to stop it and just get down Peter in there. Get back into the... Exactly. Right. So we're getting that texture that we want that consistency. So do you do this on a regular basis or is this something new? Did this you... is something kind of new. This is something I've been seeing and wanting to try. Yeah. And I mentioned it to our showrunner. I was like, yeah, I could do it on the show. She said done. And she said done. You're doing it. All right. This is turning out nice. I'm happy with yeah, this. Too. You want it almost like a, um, a sorbet right. consistency yeah. or like a frozen yogurt consistency. And I think that's exactly what we got right there. So our next step is we are going to put this in the bowl. And now I'm going to put you to work. Because if you've had an Asahi bowl, you know that the top of it has certain toppings. I probably ha should have used a smaller bowl, but that's OK. Does that look like ice cream? It does. It, it really does? does. Yeah. OK, that's not what I'm going to So we have coconut, a little bit of granola, and strawberries. And what I want you to do is get creative and just kind of put a little line of each on there. A little line of each. Yeah. A little line of each. A little line of each. So you get a little bit of coconut there. And while you're doing that, I'll get your spoon because I'm going to have you taste it. So I hope it's not supposed to be a real super pretty, nice, thin. It, it's ruined line. if you don't make I, it well, super then pretty. I, I'm going to do the, I'll <laughs> give it my, and if it doesn't work out, I'll eat it. There you go. That? No one will know. Nobody will ever know. No. Right. And then the strawberries, just line those up there. These are some good looking strawberries. They are. I like that. I think we're coming to the end of strawberry season. Are we? Oh, or, no. Uh, yeah, that's an early, it's probably already over. I hate it when that happens. Yeah. Okay. All right. We're going to get into this. Mm hmm. Give Jeff a good shot of it, taking a bite without losing it on the counter. <laughs> oh my. Is that good? I gotta taste it. It really is. It really, really is. And guess what, Jimmy? It's healthy. 
I like it, and it's cool. It'll cool you off. Mm -hmm. This is a nice little dessert, a little snack to, a little snack. to sit down with. Yeah, okay. Good so, job. we're not done. Do you like Snickers? Yeah, I'm not done. Oh, I got more. What? You like Snickers? We're yeah. going to make another one. It's a Snickers smoothie bowl. This day just keeps getting better and better. <laughs> we are back in the Delmarva Life Kitchen, and we made a, a smoothie bowl right. that you enjoyed. Delicious. Yeah, and then I teased him a little bit with a Snickers smoothie bowl, and it is what it sounds like, but it's a healthy version. So if you like the candy bar, right. you're going to like this. Same concept. We're using frozen fruit. This time, we're using the bananas. So okay. we're going to go ahead and, and put some bananas in there. Uh, you want to freeze them ahead of time. And frozen avocado chunks. Really? Yeah. Um, they don't look great when they're frozen, right. but they will do the job. So we throw those in there. All right. Got the bananas. We've gone with the uh, coconut milk again, but you can use almond milk or just plain milk if you want. Right. But for dairy free, we're using a plant base. And I'm just going to do the same thing. Just put a little bit in there because consistency is key here. Yes. You, you want to have the perfect consistency. We're also got to have the chocolate, right? Right. So we're adding a two to three teaspoons of cocoa powder. Love chocolate. So I'm going with three. Right there. You approach, approach chocolate like I do uh, spices. So <laughs> I like try to do a lot. Okay. Um, a little bit of peanut butter, because you know, chocolate and peanut butter Gotta have it. go together. So we've got about a tablespoon or two of peanut butter I'm gonna put in there. And then, you know, you put the cocoa powder in. Cocoa powder is not sweet. You wanna sweeten it up a little bit. So we're using 100% pure maple syrup. So you wanna do about a tablespoon of that. A little more, a little less, depending on how sweet you want it. So I, I'd say that's more. In your taste, okay. <laughs> yeah. So again, we're going to start out slow. You don't want to do it like you would do a smoothie where you start it off at full speed right. and get everything going. You're going to just kind of start it off slow. Ooh. And I can tell already that I think our consistency is going to be where I want it. There. And if you want to thicken it up a little bit, we can throw some more bananas in there. That'll help. And if, if it's too thick, then you put some more coconut milk in. So let's see what we got here. Take the lid off. Ooh, I think we're where we oh want to be. Oh my goodness. Can you smell that? Yes, I can. <laughs> All right. Again, put it in the bowl. Oh, that does that smell good, doesn't it? So what is a Snickers bar? It's chocolate, it's nuts. So that's what you're going to be putting on top as well. Again, I probably could have used a smaller bowl. All right. So for our toppings, we're going to uh, use, you can use peanuts. Right, okay. So yeah. I have, uh, or you can use granola. So I'm going to put a little bit of granola on there. Love the crunch of granola. How about some more chocolate? Always more chocolate. More chocolate. And then want to make it pretty with some more peanut butter. Oh, okay. Peanut butter in a bag. And we're going to decorate it up a little bit. Put some swirls in there. <laughs> and you have to sing that little song. <laughs> okay, we'll need you to repeat that because I'm not sure I got to work on that. And there you go. That is your that. Snickers smoothie bowl. It's probably, it could have been a little prettier, but we're... Well, hey, I'm going to eat it. It okay. doesn't much matter. But you got to tell me how it tastes. Yeah, yeah. This, I, I love this stuff. This is, you came in with some great stuff today. Love this. That tastes like a Snickers. That's amazing. I got. I don't. I, I don't trust you, Jimmy. Well, don't take half of it. Mm. That's amazing. It does taste good. good. Oh, How about goodness. that? Thank you. And guess what? It's healthier it's than It's healthy Snickers. too. Who'd have thunk? Who'd have thunk? And we'll have those recipes on our website, DelmarvaLife.com. I love this smoothie bowl recipes.